today I have with me three students. Billy Gilborg, president of the class, Jillian Kuhn, and Christina Buell. In my questions with you, Billy, can you please tell us how helpful it was having some knowledge of radiology before you applied to this program? I found it extremely helpful because I knew what I was getting into and I felt very secure that I was not going to regret my decision. X-rays are involved in many procedures in the medical field and there's a lot more to it than just taking a chest X-ray. And I hear a lot of my fellow students comment on how they never thought they'd be doing half the things they encounter at the hospital. So I found it very helpful to have a glimpse into the field before I made my decision. Thank you. Jillian, uh, can you talk about what a typical day is for you? Um, when you are here at school at Massasoit on the didactic days and how it begins and how it ends and how much involvement there is of studying for the classes. Sure. Usually um, I get up around 6 o'clock and I have to be in class by 8 for my lab on Tuesday um, with Mary and we go over positioning and things like that that we need. Um, after that we usually have the class where um, Mary Ann teaches usually the physics and everything having to deal with x-ray. After that we usually um, have your class which deals with um, the positioning lecture, dealing with the exposures um, for positioning and things like that. Um, and then after that we go into Rad Tech 3 which explains um, how to take x-rays, you know, dealing with contrast densities and other things like that. So when you finish those classes about what time is that? It's usually about quarter to two. So you're here, we're on, done. So you're here on campus? From yes, usually from eight till two o'clock. Okay. Yes. Now about study time, how do you get your studying in? Usually I do work um, 20 hours a week, so when I try to fit that in, usually when I get home on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 o'clock, I can study for a good two hours before going to work, and then I usually review when I come home at night. Saturdays and Sundays are a big part of my studying. Okay. Okay. So it's a pretty long day for it you. It is, here. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Billy, um, can you tell me how you prepared yourself so that you could succeed? in what you're doing. I actually got a chance to work with a few uh, new graduates from this program and they really did stress to me how hard the x-ray courses are uh, and how important it is to get as much work out of the way before you start the program. So I finished all my liberal arts classes ahead of time and I was really glad I did because the x-ray courses alone are a lot of hard work. I was able to keep my job because I was only working 20 hours a week, which is pretty much the maximum of hours you can work along with this program. And I would recommend to any student coming into the program to try to take as many classes ahead of time as possible and try to limit your work hours as much as you can. So Christina, can you please tell me how you became interested in the radiology program? Well, I basically became interested in radiology through a process of elimination. I knew I wanted to be in the medical field, but I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to be. But I came across radiology on the internet, and I looked at some job opportunities and decided to call a tech at a hospital and interview them over the phone. And I asked a lot of questions. I had a lot of my questions answered, and I'm like, mm, that's for me. That's what I want to do. I understand you have a little boy, Christina, a little boy who's five years old? Yes, now he's five. Yeah. Yes. And that must be quite hard trying to make a balance between being a parent and going to school. Can you just tell me um, what kind of support system that you have in place in order that you can do it all? Well, it is a little difficult, but I have him enrolled in daycare full time. And if he's unable to go to school because he's sick or something, I have three backup plans. I have my mom his dad or one of my brothers. I have three brothers, so that's the good thing. I have a great family, and especially it works out really well when I'm in clinical because it would take me 45 minutes to get to him in the event of an emergency. So having the backup is, has really been useful for me. Mm. Did you do any classes before you got into the program and that might have made your caseload for classroom lessened by that? Oh yeah, I had all of my other classwork done except for the radiology. For, and you found that greatly helpful to oh, you. Oh, definitely. I, I, I don't think I could do it, take my anatomy and all my math and everything all together. Mm -hmm. but what do you think the best or the biggest benefit is going to be when you finish this program and you graduate and you become employed in radiology? Well, probably the biggest benefit is that I'm going to love my job. I'm going to be really happy doing what I'm doing. It's something I'm going to be proud of. But, you know, the pay is good. The benefits are good. 
and, you know, flexible hours so that I can be a mom and work. And, you know, it all adds up okay. for me. It's a benefit to you it's and it's also a benefit to you for your son. Right. Yeah. Um, Jilly, Jillian, um, can you explain um, how come it's so important that we do um, kind of keep our car number of hours that we at work down to a minimum? Well, I was lucky where um, I do have a supportive family that can help me out, but um, to do the program, which is why I decided to do it now, um, I work 20 hours a week, um, Monday through Friday, um, from 5 to 9, and um, that allows me, you know, time after school to study and as well as when I come home at night, and it allows me enough time to go to bed to get up for clinical or school the next day. Um, and then, like I said, Saturdays and Sundays I can study, so I keep my weekends free for that. And that's one thing about this program. Most students who are going to college might have a schedule that might be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday. But when you're in an allied health field, such as in radiology, um, those are days that you are not here at college, you're not back at clinical. So you're spending anywhere from 15 to 25 hours a week at clinical. And that mm -hmm. cuts into your study time. I'm sure just to change from the first semester and second semester to this year as sophomores, and being at clinical one more day makes it one less day for you to do your study and to get difference. that all in. Yeah. So can you give us an idea um, what it's like at the clinical site for you? And, and I, I find the job uh, very demanding both physically and mentally. Um, it's a very fast pace, so you're running around all day long. You never stop. Um, and I find it's, it's very giving to get to help people, but it can also be very sad and disturbing because you see a lot of extremely sick people, which is especially difficult when they're a child or an older person. Um, so sometimes when you go home, it can affect you, those sad parts of the job too. Okay. Jillian, I understand that this is kind of a stepping stone for you, the radiology program, that you have a vision yes. in the future to do something else in the field of imaging, yes. which radiology is one. Can mm -hmm. you tell me a little bit about what your plans are for Well, my future? plan is now um, to go to MRI. I would like to go to MRI school and take a course. And my radiology license also allows me to go into different modalities, um, which is what I'm looking forward to. Okay. Um, again, we have to emphasize the fact that it's important to do as many things as you can before. Prepare yourself before this. Take the liberal arts courses if you can before this time because it's difficult to carry those liberal art credit courses as well as the radiology courses because of the time frame that you have for studying. Um, did any of you have to take um, one course with the radiology, like maybe an A&P course or something like that, or did both of you have your liberal arts completed? I had all my liberal arts completed, um, but I do need to take an anatomy and physiology two course, okay. so I'll be taking that next semester, which I'm not looking forward yeah. to, but yeah. I had to hold on to do that. Yeah. I had all my liberal arts done, but I noticed the kids in the class that didn't struggled and had a hard time finishing their work for both the radiology classes and the other classes at the same time. Yeah. Do you enjoy being in the program? Very much. Yes, yeah. yes. I have a lot of fun with the staff at the hospital, and I take pride and joy in helping people in their time of need and possibly making a difference in somebody's life. Thank you very much, and I hope that this presentation today is helpful to you students out there who are viewing it, and that I hope that maybe some of the suggestions that these three students have given you will help you in succeeding in this program. And I wish you much success in your application process.